Hi, I'm Lang. This is my first video blog. So I just figured I'd start off with a real easy subject for you. I talk about heaven, hell, and love. <laughs> anyway, so uh, there's a, a parable, if, if you will, a story that I've heard several different versions of, and I guess the original one was uh, a Muslim story, but uh, it's also within Christian circles as well, and I'm assuming it's probably elsewhere also. So the story goes like this. is a man or a woman sees an angel walking down the road in the town, in the street, and the angel has a torch in one hand and a bucket of water in the other. And so the, the person asks the angel, well, what are you doing? And the angel says, well, I'm going to take the torch to the mansions of heaven and burn them down. And I'm going to take the bucket of water to the fires of hell and quench them all. And then we'll see who really trusts, who really loves God. And so this reminds me of a transformative class, I guess, that I took when I was going to seminary about the book of Job. And the book of Job, if you're familiar, it's very, anyway, it's a very long book in the Old Testament. And it kind of boils down to this is that Satan, the Satan character and God have this bet. As the Satan says, Job only loves you because he's like super rich and his family's amazing and his wife is a model and that kind of thing. And God says, no, he loves me for the sake of nothing. And so kind of the bet plays out and it turns out that God's right, that Job loves God for the sake of nothing because love doesn't have a reason. Love is the reason. I think we see this in our own relationships. The more we love somebody, a spouse, a, a child, a family member, a friend for the sake of something, the more often it's going to go awry because everybody is going to end up, people are going to inevitably let us down. But the more we love somebody for the sake of nothing, just because, because love is the reason, the more things get awesome and the better the relationship goes. And so I think that we see also kind of from, that's kind of a micro level, if you will. And we see that on the macro level, as far as if you live, for the future, if I live for the future, if I live to go to heaven, or if I live as I did for a long time to avoid hell, then that really just brings anxiety, right, and worry because the future stuff is pretty much only in the end results in anxieties and worries when we're we're obsessed with the future, um, uh, as opposed to being in the present. Whereas if we live for now as if heaven were now, and Jesus talks about that all the time, that heaven is at hand, heaven is here, heaven is now the kingdom of God, the kingdom of heaven is actually, you know, as near as your fingertips. And so the more we live like that, as if heaven is now, and we can experience the goodness of it right now, like, I think that the future will take care of itself, because if we're in heaven now, why wouldn't we be in heaven later, you know what I mean? So... My point with that being that uh, to live love now, because really and truly I think that love, the care, the giving for the thriving and flourishing of people, of the world, of creation, is what love is all about. And that will bring heaven to your experience and the experience of your family, your friends, your community, and so on. So I hope that was helpful. And thanks for joining me for the first video blog. That was kind of fun. And uh, grace and peace. Have an amazing day.